Uh-oh. I definitely hear some... <laughs> Boomer the Colt has a nasty lung infection that may be spreading. Ooh. And invading his knee. What the heck? When a young horse gets a respiratory infection, the bloodstream loves to deposit those bacteria in joints. A septic infection would be devastating for the yearling. If you were in an equine surgical center, you would have to, you know, open up that joint, flush it. Yeah. It would probably be months of treatment. We're in remote Yukon, so a septic oh. knee would be a very bad outcome for Boomer. We're just watching him trot to see if he looks lame. Good one. No, no, he doesn't no. look too lame. No. That looks good. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't see any signs of lameness, yeah. but there's still the swelling. So what we need to do now is actually get an x-ray and get a picture of what's going on in the knee itself. Okay, we'll go get it set up. There's a lot of different things that can cause swelling in a knee. I mean, a simple injury, a twist, that can cause it. Hold it up a little higher. See right there. Right there, hold it. Any other type of infection can cause swelling or fluid in the knee. Yeah, and lift it up a little bit. There you go. Perfect. It may be linked to the pneumonia, but we're not sure. Here's the x-ray that we took. The knee looks like not infectious. So that's good. Boomer's swollen joint is not linked to his pneumonia, yeah, but the yearling has other problems. And this is like the, the kneecap, the patella. You can see right here, there's a fairly large divot. Right. That's uh, where there's unstable bone and cartilage mm -hmm. from an OCD lesion. Every time he moves, it's going right. to start to become painful eventually. Correct. Yeah, that's exactly right. Mm -hmm. So what we can see in Boomer's knee is classic for OCD or osteochondritis desiccans. When his joints were growing, that cartilage kind of malformed, and we're not really sure why. Eventually, that could cause a lot of arthritis in the joint. But in some cases, it doesn't cause a whole lot of obvious lameness. It really depends on the individual if they ever do develop and how much arthritis they will develop from these lesions. Boomer's stifle is a watch and wait situation, but his pneumonia needs attention now. So what do you think about just trying to treat that then? Well, I mean, I think it's gonna be tough. You know, we've been dealing with this for a long time. I would probably go another round of treatment, maybe four to six weeks, and see if that's helping him any. He's a fighter. Yeah, he is. <laughs> we know that, so. It's so go. sweet. So sweet. Fine. We're gonna give a try with a really good antibiotic. It really gets into the lung tissue quite well, and you can give it for an extended period. All right, well, I'll line you up with some TMS, and Sounds good. away you go for six weeks with it. Is his name Sweepy? The coming weeks will determine if Boomer will join his herd or spend another winter alone. So our plan is to check in on Boomer and see how he's doing. If he's still sickly, he won't be going out. And Boomer wants to be out there. He was born out there. So I really hope that he's healthy enough to live that wild Yukon life.